How's it going guys? Welcome back to this week's video. If you're new, I'm Ash, this is my channel and we generally do stuff to cars if we can help it, usually that one. Today is a little different, we have something we've had on the channel before, um, but this is one hell of a task. Here we have my friend's Audi S5, S5 not S3 like I said before, um, and we are going to be doing a full colour change. So what we're going to do, first of all, get the car nice and clean, uh, it's got to be cleaned, clayed and wiped down, move the car inside, start disassembling, mirrors, they've got to come off, rear lights, they're coming out, door handles, they're coming off, bumpers are coming off. Along with the wrap, I'm not going to show you the colour just yet, you can wait for that, but along with the wrap we've got a couple of little goodies going on the car as well. Obviously a rear lip extension, we've got some sequential indicators, some black badges and we've also got some black plastic dip which we're going to use on both the wing mirrors. I'm going to get that off shortly um, and then I'm going to start on this wing. Uh, Craig's coming down from Yoda Race and you'll all know him from the Astra scene and whatnot so he's coming down we're going to take the bonnet off because when you're wrapping the bonnet getting around the sides and the front and the back parts okay but these back corners when this obviously bonnet lifts up that pushes down into there so I'm not going to be able to wrap in there and when the bonnet's closed it, it's very very tight in there and I don't want to have you know get to that bit and completely mess it up so that's what we're going to do whether it can be done like that I don't know but this being my first time wrapping one such a big panel and two the whole car I'm just trying to make things easier for myself so that's what we're going to do so next off I'm going to just walk down this uh, wing again and then try and wrap it okay guys here we have the roll that is a uh, satin sour apple, I believe it's called, from 3M. So I'm just going to take all these bits of tape off, cut the first piece for the wing, and get cracking. Hope you enjoy. So as I said, starting on this wing, and you'll probably see I'm not doing things maybe as I should, but I do learn from my mistakes and sort of how to lay the film differently and how laying it differently can actually help you going forward with that panel so what i should have probably done is maybe started at the top where you can see that strong body line maybe have done the lower bit first then the top or vice versa but like i said being my first time i'm learning as i'm going uh, i've said it multiple times I've, i haven't done this before so please bear with me That is one panel done. Um, learned quite a bit doing that, if I'm honest. Uh, so going forward, I'm going to do the bonnet. Just got to rub it down with some alcohol. Um, I've undone the hinges under here and propped it up just so I can get sort of behind there uh, from what I was saying earlier. And then same on the other side. So we're going to wipe it down and get it wrapped. So what we're doing here is called glassing out. I should have done that a lot more with the wing but I didn't and I learned from it. Could have done it a bit more or a bit better on the bonnet itself, but basically when you're glassing out, you, you're pulling the film tight so that it, it hugs the uh, panel a lot better. Again, learning as we're going, so don't crucify me too much in them comments. I also want to say a huge thank you and shout out to Craig. I'll link his channel in the description below. Him coming down, uh, helping me out, doing the bonnet and the wing and sometimes just being there for just someone to talk to and bounce ideas off it was it was really good so mate thank you so much you really helped me that is the wing and the bonnet done for now i've just done the two panels there as i'm editing the videos together i'm sort of trying to condense the uh the footage down as much as i can but it's just not i'm not able to condense it down enough because of how long it took to actually wrap so when I condense it down, it's still quite a long file and I don't want this to be a long video. So from now on, I'm just going to explain what I'm going to do, show you sort of just before I'm about to do it. And then after I'll show you the result. I've masked off as much as I can around here for now. Uh, I've even managed to get 
the side strip off that was down there as you can see all those little dimples that's all clips so it does come off it's on clips just gotta get this all finished preparing but as you can see there the roll not this white one the green one that green roll is it's difficult to sort of get anything off so as I'm pulling on this I'm having to wind that out pull it open a bit more wind it out it's really annoying so I've just been to screw fix and bought this the rolls 1.5 meters this is 1.8 and I had these lying around so I'm hoping that I can attach those to the wall put that through the tube because obviously it's a hollow tube and then have it on there so that I can sort of pull it off and it will be away from the wall we'll see in my head that makes sense so all I can do is try if it doesn't work then I won't use it but that's what I'm going to try and do right that did help a lot really glad I did that um I do have to watch that the bar doesn't go off either side but this is where we're at I've got my magnets on the top holding that where it is it's going to cut off uh, bits of slack like there um and then do sort of the door aperture and uh, we use that piece then to do the door later on that has taken me all flipping day <laughs> i've literally been on this for the best part of like four hours ish but it's the first time i've ever done it so you know i was trying to be a bit more careful got it all done wrapped all around there all over the uh, wheel arch all underneath the uh, side skirt and obviously up over the top as well I'm going to move on to the boot lid obviously i've masked up around the side to enable me to tuck it down in around the shuts and i've got some knifeless tape under there because i do not think you'd be able to do that in one piece um just because of the way sort of all the curves and and places that material would just get bunched up so that's what we're going to do next that is the boot done there's a an inlay under there i use the knifeless tape it's good stuff um so that is now the boot complete and move the car back now and do the door there we have it guys that is the one side finished almost it's got to put that back on uh done the handle as well there's an inlay in there and then obviously i've wrapped around it and then done this piece as well door handle works so that's all good turn the car around now start on that passenger side just like that the car's turned around before i drove it in i did fit the fuel cap i forgot to mention that in the last clip so that's all done all that side is completely buttoned up now apart from the side skirt so this side now got to get this side skirt off and then wipe it down and get cracking oh problems so let me explain everything was going well got the wing done got that rear quarter done obviously from there all the way back to the rear and then up over that's all one piece got that done i've come to do the door now i've got the material for the door it's just in the car there you can see it so i'm ready to do the door i cleaned it all down i've gone to take the handle out but to get the handle out what you have to do is take this part off first and inside the door shut there's a screw that you undo it moves a mechanism so you can take that out once that's out you open the handle pull it this way and it comes out but with that still being in the way you can't do that so that's problem number one problem number two is the fact that i've run out of material so every piece of material i've cut off that roll has gone onto this car i haven't messed up anywhere i haven't had to redo any panels or anything like that thankfully um and i've gone to get a a measurement for the bumper and the rear bumper was the biggest part so the rear bumper measures nine feet from side to side from obviously the end of the passenger side which is by the wheel well just there all the way around to the other side of the other wheel well and that's nine feet so i was about to cut a nine feet piece now bearing in mind as well guys i've not had to do the roof because we did the roof weeks ago so I thought I'd have plenty of material left. I don't. So, because I haven't got enough, Steve's had to order some. As for the door, I think I'm going to have to try and wrap it as it is, which is going to be so difficult, and I'm not too sure how well that's going to go. As you can see, I've had the door card off as well, trying to get to the lock from this side, 
Um, I have done a couple of cool pieces. So I've done done that, which goes basically on there. I've done the driver's side one as well. So I've been doing these little bits, obviously, whilst I'm waiting for the wrap to turn up. Um, just behind me there, the mirrors. They've been done in that satin black plastic dip that I told you about. I started to get everything off the bumper uh, ready for wrapping. I even did this bit, the lower lip, in gloss black. Um, we just thought when we was talking that it might look a little nicer um, and break the front up a little bit. With all that being said, guys, I am going to end the video here. I know you're probably going to hate me for it. You probably wanted to see the car finished and see Steve's reaction. But I don't know how long this is going to take me. Um, and I, I wanted to get the video out for you guys as quick as I could because I've been posting pictures on the community side of my um, my channel and posting about it all on Instagram. If you haven't, followed me on there. I'll put the link on the screen, uh, link in the description as well because obviously more updates get posted on there and they get posted up a lot quicker uh, than what they do for YouTube. Thank you for watching, guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see what Steve's reaction is going to be because that will be filmed at some point this coming week. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. When you're ready then, Ty.